Oh, good day, guys. Um, yesterday, I was talking about the exhaust. Uh, before I posted on the Cummins forum, um, I said I was just going to friggin' run uh, three to five inch adapter and then five inch when it goes flat. But um, I forgot that my uncle works at a rig shop. Um, so he can get 45s and 90s uh, elbows, which is freaking awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably, I don't know if we can weld to that too good, but uh, okay, anyways, um, might be able to cut this here, maybe not. I just, I need to be able to get these bolts back in. I see a lot of the down pipes um, that you can get aftermarket, they've got this friggin, like they just come up right to it and then they, there's a, some kind of clamp or something. So this is a different style, so I can't use one of those. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is, uh, depending on how long these bolts are, I uh, might come off here and uh, come off with 3 inch and then flare it out to 5 and then down and follow the stock exhaust system. So that will be pretty cool. And. Uh, I think I'm going to pull that top bolt out and then try to thread it in the bottom and see if it's uh, going to work for me. See if there's any... Ah, oh, I hit my funny bone. Oh, frick. <laughs> but uh, I'll see if there's anything to bite to. I'm crossing my fingers that there is. And uh, for the boost gauge, um, off Cummins Forum, they suggested that guy there. That... Uh, I think it's a half inch national pipe thread plug that goes right into your uh, intake manifold. So a lot of people take that out and get a half inch to eighth inch adapter and then run an eighth inch uh, push to connect fitting off that for the boost gauge. Other guys have used like one of those bolts, like that one, they just remove it because it goes into the into the manifold anyways. But I think I'm going to go off that uh, plug. And what else? What else was there? Oh yeah, I'm probably going to be doing the pyrometer there. If I pull that out and there's nothing to bite to, I've got to remove the freaking manifold anyways and then... Uh, I'll drill and tap it then, that way I don't get filings or nothing in the turbo and keep them out of the, uh, out of the engine. So, yeah, apologize. I got a little bit of work to do today. Wiring's all cleaned up. You can see all the spaghetti on the ground, other than the rope. But, uh, yeah, first thing I think I'm gonna do is take the intake elbow off or intake horn, I think the proper term for it, and uh, try to get to the injector pump. I might have to take the apps off as well. This is uh, your throttle, it's all freaking computer controlled. I think the module's right in behind there. I don't really like that. I don't like drive-by wire, but uh, that's what they got. I'd much prefer a 12 valve because it's all mechanical, but the uh, way she goes. So we'll see what I gotta take off and might even get the uh, boost gauge installed today. I think you just use a half inch friggin' half inch adapter uh, extension to get that guy out. Holy. Focus on the thing behind it. Nope. Whatever. Anyways, I got my work cut out for me and I'll get started. But first I think I might run out and get my battery. My brother's got my battery in his old truck, so I'll probably go get that and then I can play around with some power stuff. Might even be able to get her cranking. We'll see. Oh, she's a dinky little battery.
just scanned the computer again, and the only code I'm getting is the air intake heater. The uh, injector pump codes are good. Maybe I'll try cracking one of these lines and see if anything comes out. Because that would be just friggin' hilarious if she fired up. Maybe it lost prime or something. Who knows? I was digging around in my own stuff and I found my uh, half inch to eighth inch adapter and my eighth inch push to connect, which broke. And uh, I pulled the plug out of here and they're not half inch, they're three quarter inch. So I ran a Napa, got a uh, three quarter to half inch and then I got a eighth inch compression fitting. And I'll just use this adapter and that adapter and then this guy in there. Kind of redneck, but uh, oh, no depth perception through the camera. No one's got a three quarter to eighth. So, yeah, cost me four bucks. <laughs> well, you can see the plug is no longer there. And uh, I got my fittings, I'm a half inch to three quarter. I got Teflon tape on her. I got the three quarter inch Teflon tape, and I'm going to feed her in there. Then I'll put the push, or not push to connect, um, the compression fitting in because my socket won't fit over the compression fitting and this. So yeah. Well, I got her in. You guys can see her right there. I'll just get her finger tight and then I'll friggin' torque her down with the, uh, the wrench. That's about as much as I can get. Cool. Awesome. So now I gotta run my boost line. Uh, I'm not sure where to poke in. Um, actually, right there is where I'm gonna go in. I'll go in there for the pyrometer as well. I think they had some wires coming out of there. I'll have to friggin... Oh, actually I got some conduit I can run in that hole. That way it can't uh, get punctured or friggin rub through on the sheet metal. It's friggin right. Oh, I'm gonna be installing them right in the pillar. I got my holes marked out. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, there you go. And there you go. I got uh, this style. It's the kind that mounts to like the dash top or something. They were 50 bucks each, I think. Yeah, sounds about right. And uh, I don't feel like buying another one, so I'm gonna make these ones work. They'll just uh, see if I can quickly stab that in there just for temporaries. They'll be like that and then the other one will be uh, like that. I would have put them there and like there but it's just a weird angle and it wouldn't sit flush or nothing so it is what it is. I'll get her done. Yeah. Now I can start running my lines. Um, I got the power meter line to run and the airline to run and i'm not sure which one is gonna go where i might i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know which one i want more towards me i guess doesn't really matter right now i'll just get the pods put on and then i can uh, figure it out later well, boost line is installed i got a ran up there still got a conduit it and then uh Freaking zap strap it up to everything. There. there she sits. Then I got the pyrometer right behind her, right underneath it, and behind it, I guess. Uh, I still have yet to run that wire. So, yeah. But when you're sitting from my angle, where I am right now, it's freaking perfect. Like, this is right in front of my face. You can tell I'm resting it on my nose. <laughs> Boost and pyro are installed. Friggin' right. And I got the key on wired up to here for now. It's just temporary. I need to uh, spend some more time and tidy that up. Oh, no depth perception. This guy will be getting tapped in properly. I just, I can't stand messy wiring. But uh, everything is run down through here and into there and down real neat and this they've both been conduited that's uh where's my finger there's my finger 
that's airline, you can't really bend it that much. That one, it's just wire, so I just freaking looped it up like that. Plus, I can't have it hanging down too much because then it would uh, freaking interfere with getting the dash bezel on and off. But anyways, turn the key and you guys can see it light up. Yay! And this guy twitches. I need to get the uh, friggin' manifold drilled and tapped for the, uh, the antler. Can't remember what it's called. But, uh, yeah, she still just cranks. I tried doing uh, some trick that I read on uh, Cummins Forum. They said just do the starter bump about three or four times and then uh, try to start the truck. And I'm guaranteeing it's friggin' needs some injector pump work. Shut up your face. Yeah, I can't wait to get this truck friggin' done. Like, very excited about it, especially now. Like, this is getting more and more my truck. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and until tomorrow, take care.